Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to introduce you to some basic RAW editing techniques. RAW is a type of file format and professional photographers shoot pretty much everything in RAW. We'll have talked about why they do that already in sessions, so I'm not going to go into that too much, but knowing how to edit a RAW file and being able to take advantage of some of the uh, tools and techniques that are available to you in RAW Editor is going to be incredibly useful. So I've got Photoshop open and I can either go up here to file and open or I can click on the open button here and I can open up a RAW file. So when I open a RAW file through Photoshop it will actually um, open up something called Camera Raw. It's a raw editing uh, add-on or plug-in that you get with Photoshop and this is where I can start making adjustments to my photo. I'm just going to full screen this there. Um, so this is a, a random raw shot. It's the photo as it is straight out the camera without any editing. It's not a bad shot, but there are things that I could do to it to make it look a little bit better. One of the key things to remember about raw editing is so a lot of the changes you make will be quite subtle. You don't need to make absolutely massive changes to every photograph you've taken. And hopefully you've got as much right in camera as possible. But um, even if you're making subtle changes, you can just give a little tweak to images, which is going to make them uh, more uh, appealing, give them a little bit more punch, whatever it is. Okay, so the basics of raw editing are very, very, very easy. Um, and you've all going to have edited stuff on Instagram or what have you, and it's kind of not that different, really. You're just dealing with some sliders. Um, and using your eyes. Um, so I'm going to start just with the basic adjustments that are up here in the right hand corner and click on that little drop down arrow. And so I've got a few things I can change. For the moment, I'm going to ignore white balance. So I will come back to that. And I'm just going to look at this first slider for exposure. I can pull this up to increase the exposure or down to decrease the exposure. If I double click on the slider, it resets it to zero. So little double click there, it's taking it straight back to zero. So if I need to change the exposure of an image, I can. Um, ideally, the exposure is gonna be right in camera, but if it's not, I've got a bit of flex here, I can bring it down or up. However, with this particular image, I don't really want to change the exposure. I'm now going to jump back up to white balance. And again, white balance is something that ideally you'd have right in camera. But if not, you can change it. Um, it will default to as shot, whatever setting you used. But there are other settings on here. Daylight, and cloudy, and shade, and what have you. That are going to change the color temperature of the image um, and you can do that in a custom way as well um, i'm gonna leave it just for now as as shot but if your image is looking far too blue or far too yellow then we need to play around with the white balance to get that temperature right okay so um, that's some very basic stuff in the next video, we'll look a little bit at how we can control the tonal range of the image.